Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Vincent Duncan and I'm going to be your host for this evening. Patricia, I must say, this is your moment. This is your hour. You're looking very beautiful in yellow. How are you feeling? Well, I'm excited. I'm happy. Thank you all for coming. It's been a long time in the process and um, I can see your lovely banner up there at the back. So well yeah. done, congratulations. Thank this you. This is the book launch of The Journey Goes On. So we're just letting the people in, just get yourself settled. You're going to be inspired. It's been an amazing, what, two years, would you say, Patricia? Like three, four years, more like four years. More like <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. You do make me laugh. And you're so passionate about your story. And I'm really, really proud of you that we have got to this stage. So as you can see, the the, the room is, is filling up. We've actually got more than uh, 100 people signing up, which is a record, right? Okay. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm quite happy. Uh, thank you to my friends and family. You know, the, I hope my all my sisters are in in um, Philadelphia. My mom. I hope I don't know. I how, feel it. I hope they are my friends. I, I can see my neighbor. My all my friends. Hi, my neighbor. Thank you. Hi, neighbor Linda. Hi, Mary. Oh, wow. That's your label, mate. You've got Mary in the building. She's a shining example of how one should actually go forward. Oh, hi, Grace. All the way from Kenya. Ah, wow. hello. Tina. Is that Tina from Lake, from Benin, Nigeria? Wow. wow. You are loved. <laughs> oh, you my are. God. Very radiant. That's from Benin City in Nigeria. I can I can only see one page. So oh my server. is Nigeria or Philadelphia further? Uh, uh Nigeria no Philadelphia is further. Nigeria is only five hours from London. Mm. Oh, that's those are my sisters in Philadelphia. How many of you on one screen? <laughs> Get your own screen. <laughs> So don't worry, there is a question and answer segment. So we will be allowing you a bit later on to on mic and talk to us. But yeah. because there's so much people here today, we do wow. have to manage. Um, we do have to manage everything that we're doing. But we've got Patricia saying, um, Patricia Osobe, yes. see, saying yes. congratulations, Sister Pat. So what I'll do is I'll open up the chat for you to sell, send your best wishes so you now can post so we're going to just wait one more minute and then we're going to get the party started because I know that you are excited to share in this amazing achievement of getting your book done and you should be very very proud you know thank you very much you've worked really really hard yeah, and uh, you. it's been super super exciting super exciting and we hope to okay. inspire many people that are here on this journey to keep on keeping on Thank the you. journey goes on it continues on we must not give up thank you so have you I had wish, a good day today Wednesday you told me to let you know if my son comes on I saw him a minute ago I don't know if he's gone to another page because he's at work so that's, fine. that's not a problem. He's at work and he wants to say something whenever he's able to. But I okay. can't see him now. Okay. So oh, this oh, is oh, Doctor. My son. Okay, I can see him. Let me just get him to unmute his mic. Yeah. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am good. good. Great <laughs> stuff. How many minutes have we got with you? Because we wanted to do a little blessing. Yeah, I mean, I have some time now. It's just difficult to know if I will get pulled away at any point, but I was hoping to stay on for as long as, as possible. Yeah. Okay. I, so I, I have to use my phone. Say something now. 
Um, I, I could say something now if, you, if you're ready to start things to... off or if you wanted to start things off. I, I, I could probably be around for at well, least... Well, it's five past, so we are ready to start things off and we will let you go in just a sec, no problem. Maybe after the first speaker, after the prayer. Please, I let think that's go. a good idea. You want to yeah, go after the prayer? All right, no problem. So yeah. let's get started. After the first Thank speaker. you so much. Thank you. So, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Winston Duncan. I am from Peaches Publications, and you are at the first ever book launch of debut author Patricia Iradia. I'm so glad to have you here. We've got a wonderful night of entertainment. So sit back and relax. First up, we have a blessing that um, is going to happen by Ms. Osayu Janice. So I hope I've said your name right. And um, let me just see if you're here in the chat. I'm going to ask you to unmute your mic. Can you unmute your mic, please? Thank you. Off you go. Praise God. Praise God. I, I am going to say a blessing and then a little message. And then maybe Amonua can speak straight after me because I might need yes. to be coming off shortly. Praise God. It is just such an awesome opportunity to see so many cousins, relatives, friends and all of Pat's family in Glasgow, Scotland, etc. cetera, um, let us pray. Father God, we just adore you. We thank you for this great opportunity, for an opportunity for such a fantastic individual to share her life's journey. Father, we ask that for all that we're going to talk about tonight and all that we're going to share, that you indeed come and take your place and make it beautiful. We just say thank you this evening in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I'm going to very quickly um, share, because I've known Pat for since forever. I mean, apart from my sisters, I don't know who else knows her longer than I do. But um, it's, I'm honestly really privileged, and uh, I'm thanking Pat for, uh, Sister Pat, I call her, for allowing me to be the one to actually um, do the prayers and, and to open up. You know, um, Patricia I, and, and, and I have known each other for over 46 years. Um, we first met as acquaintances at university when I started my first year and she was in final year. Um, we met again when we when I joined at the uh, Ministry of Education in Benin City, where she was already a senior education officer. And she really mentored me, re mentored me and gave me all the support as a young mother, a young wife and a young education officer. Um, I'm ever so grateful for all that she's done. I mean, we've remained, and then we discovered they were actually cousins, that my dad and her mom are actually second cousins. And the bond has remained strong ever since. Now, our Pat, I'm gonna call her, is full of energy, high expectations of herself, and all she has, all she comes in contact with, um, especially as she completed her master's in education and a PhD in guidance and counseling too. She naturally, it motivated all of us who were around her at the time to try and do the same. I didn't do the PhD, but she made sure I did the master's. Um, right, Pat is actually born into the Orumese Osula families of Benin City, in Edo State, Benin City. She grew up as an absolute daddy and mommy's girl. Her parents, Stephen Orumese, past Stephen Orumese of blessed memory, and mommy, Mrs. Margaret Orumese, Ni Osula, spared no expense and time to ensure that their daughter Patricia and all the others had the best education, discipline, and life skills to become a successful, professional, loving, dutiful wife, mother, grandmother, advocate, and citizen of the world. The third daughter of 12 children, all of whom are successful professionals, and all my cousins are on here tonight, and business owners, Patricia had no choice but to be a great achiever too. Now, Patricia got married to the love of her life, Dr. Ovens Ireja, who we've of blessed memory in 1980, who we all fondly called Uncle Ovens. She is blessed with five outstanding children, all medical professionals who are well married and settled in their various homes. Isi and Efosa Ilaho, Iro and Owen Obasanha, Iyegbe and Shola Kolawale, Imade and Osaho Omorige, Omonua and lovely Beverly Iradia. I attended all of those weddings. We thank God. Patricia is blessed with 11 grandchildren, all of whom she's so proud of and full of love for. She is indeed a hands-on grandma. When we have our little talks at night, it's really exciting when those grandchildren are around her there. Patricia, the writer, 
Pan has always been a prolific writer. The standard of her essays in both her master's and PhD programs earned her the title of writer of our time in the midst of her friends. We always said, hmm, Auntie Pat, you're so, you really got the language. She really commands it so well. Now, Pat's new quest was to sharpen her creativity and imagination even more. A hobby soon turned to an all-empowering, all-consuming passion that Pat reveled in, the power of the pen to create, recreate, and retell real life experiences with absolute relish. I haven't seen my friend, sister, cousin so content in spirit in a long time. Patricia, daughter, sister, auntie, mom, grandma, nana, friend, cousin, writer, author, oh my goodness. A woman of many hats indeed, wearing each of them with humility, commitment, dignity, faithfulness, and love. We stand with you today and say thank you and well done for your faith, passion, interest, vivid imagination, and absolute attention to detail. As a believer, you continue to delight in the word of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. You're indeed like a tree planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Um, your leaves will never wither and you will continue to prosper in all that you do. And that's Psalm uh, 1 verses 2 to 3. I have purchased my copy of The Journey Goes On and have started enjoying the stories of life's adventure through Judy's eyes. I can indeed identify with many aspects as we, me and Pat, have shared a common journey in many ways. Your husband, Uncle Ovens, Dr. Iredia, as I said, we fondly called him, will be so proud of you and so are we all. To God be all the glory, all the honor, in Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations, Pat, we love you. Yes, 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 we love you. Let's see some clicks in the air. Let's show the love, let's show the love. Thank you very much, um, Minister Osei. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. It sounds like you have a lot of wealth and love um, for your sister. Yeah. And uh, make sure you give her a five-star rating. Um, you spoke so eloquently and with so much passion. And we can see here today with 83 people in the chat room how loved she is. So thank you so much. Right, let's get to it. We have a doctor in our myth. We're changing up the program because she, you know, you insisted definitely that your son must speak while he's at work today so ladies and gentlemen we're just going to jig around the program just a little bit um i'd like to introduce patricia's son dr omo please um unmute your mic hi there thank you very much for that kind introduction uh hello to everyone and uh, thank you for fitting me in into the schedule of of um, this event. Uh, I, I I'm not sure when I'll be available, so I'm I'm glad to just get a few minutes to to be in, involved in this very special event. Thank you very much, and to uh, Osai for that very lovely and uh, very accurate uh, introduction. I think most people would agree about my mum. Um. So. Yeah, very briefly, I, I've known my mom for just over 33 years now since she gave birth to me. And um, in that time, I, I thought I knew my mom very well. I, I, I've learned lots of stories and, you know, I've heard about different parts of her lives and what she's done going through it. But in, in her writing this book and in reading this book and all the way through, through the writing process and learning more about the stories, I really, it really unlocked another part of her life that, you know, I wasn't really privy to. And I really got to understand, you know, the journey that she's been on. And that is a, that's a fantastic and unique journey uh, for someone to come and move over to a new country and bring up your kids in a new country and, and all the highs and lows and everything in between. Um, and so it's, it's been amazing. It's been a blessing to, really get to learn more about my my mother as as the human being and as the person who's lived a life rather than just the mother that I've known that's been a a, a wonderful mother to me um so yeah that the the journey goes on is, is a is a really wonderful book and I I've really enjoyed it the, the last thing that I wanted to say is that you know my mom has always been 
really good with her English. As, as we know from that introduction, she's got uh, lots of great qualifications and a PhD um, involved in English and English literature. But for me personally, the one thing um, is that I really struggled with 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 English when I was in school. I was very academic and I and I was very good at black and white and maths and sciences. But uh, I always struggled with English and concepts and understanding. And I can hand on my heart say that I wouldn't have gotten um, the grade that I got in English if it wasn't for my mom's tuition. She really broke down concepts to me and helped me to understand the nuances of English and how to understand English literature and how to interpret it. And for that, I've always been very grateful because without that grade in English, as most of us know, it's really difficult to to get on and do well in life. So, yeah, in summary, thank you, Mom, for uh, your your wonderful help in English in my life. And thank you for this wonderful book that showcases to all of us, you know, a little bit about your life and, or, and the ups and downs you've gone through. And I'm sure everyone can read it, get a good laugh and um, learn a few things about themselves um, in the process. So... Thanks for giving me this moment to to speak about the book. It's, a, it's really important to me. It's really important to my family. And I'm also, I forgot to mention, I'm here just to represent the, the radio side of the family. Um, and there's lots of people from all over the world. My my cousins and my aunties and, and my big uncles and daddies who are we're all tuning in from America and, and Canada and Nigeria. So thank you so much to everyone um, for coming in. Uh, coming and supporting us as a family and supporting my mom in this in this wonderful uh, venture that she's taken on. So, yeah, I think that's enough for me. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Wow, that was beautiful. Very well expressed. And I can tell you're really proud of Mumsy. So thank you very much, Doctor. And we hope whatever you enjoy um, here, before you have to rush off, um, we hope you have some fun, but it is streaming live on Facebook. So I've put the chat in the chat, the Facebook link. So do share it because um, we are at 98 now, <laughs> which is two away from 100. And, you know, this is a testament to the love. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Winston Duncan. I am a book confidence coach and I am the proud publisher of the journey goes on. And I would implore you, if you look in the chat, I've put in the link for the paperback and I've put in the link for that luxury special edition. So if you can go and get a copy, please, that'd be fantastic. And make sure you give it a what? A five star rating. Uh, it's very hard to write a book if you're not focused on the vision you have to be connected and um we are here to celebrate now also um i meant you, you know you mentioned earlier on um about your late father and um patricia is a widower so just uh you know in the spirit of respect let's just have a few moments silent um for, for your late hu um, husband and just to acknowledge his existence um while he was here with us on the planet Thank you. And I think as um, we move on, we can see in your children the legacy that your late husband has left. So we are going to have a question and answer session at the end. So do make sure you have your questions at the ready and we will be able to unmute um, you at the end as well for that section. But because there's so many people that we've got online, we just don't want to, we want to limit distractions and services. So I can see people's hands up and stuff like that. Thank you very much. Just um, pop us a message and we will you know you can message me directly and we will i will do my best to answer um but we're going to open up the mic a bit later on we've got some people here from nigeria and from philly and from canada i wonder who's the furthest so uh put, put down where you're from 
I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do that. And while we're doing that, we've got some messages of congratulations. So we've got congratulations, Sister Pat. Congrats to my big sis. I'm proud of you. We've got congratulations, big mummy Pat. Amo looks like an so adult. <laughs> some of these messages are direct to me, so you probably won't get to see them all. So I'm just going to read them out. Um, massive congratulations, Auntie Pat. Blessings all the way. Hello, everyone. Congratulations to Auntie Pat and her family. Okay, great stuff. So we've got lots and lots of um uh, congratulations for you there. Um, Patricia, how do you feel about that? Oh, I'm really very grateful to every one of you for uh, coming to celebrate with me. I, I call this a party. When she called me and said, oh, so many people have, uh, I've already got a hundred. I said, please don't turn back anybody. Expand your Zoom, whatever. Uh, whatever to include everybody. I have to say, even before it gets to the thank yous, that's my mom from Nigeria. I can see my mom hey, from, mommy. Ni from Lagos, Nigeria. Wales, Wales, let everybody see you. That's my mom sitting with my sister. That's my immediate younger sister from Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> what is what is her name listed as? Does it does it, uh, what is it? No, no, her name. No, no, no. She's not to talk. Um, oh, she's not talking. Okay, no, no, no it's talking. Catherine. It's Catherine. Um, okay. Catherine going to represent you. my side of the family. My son represented the radio side of the family. Okay. So thank you, mommy, for coming. <laughs> that's so Beautiful. Bad. So we've got some people here from Dallas. Ninety-two. Doc <laughs> Doctor on teas. I have no idea where that is. Um. Congrats, Auntie. So proud of you, Auntie. Congratulations, Auntie, from SOHE. Hopefully I said that right. Maryland, USA. Wow. Congratulations, dearest sister. We are proud of you. Congratulations from your kids in Las Vegas, USA. Look at this love, Patricia. They love you. Congratulations, Auntie. From Egg, Corsa, and Alex, New York City. Congratulations, Auntie Pat. Hertfordshire, wow. What an incredible achievement. You can do it too. You can do it too. There's a book inside of you. You can do it too. And I'll be happy to help anyone here on this journey to get their books out. It is an incredible achievement. It's a legacy that Patricia has le left for us, for the grandbabies, for the children after that. It's a legacy. Um. So I'll get to your message in just a sec. If we can just refer people to the Facebook link, because um we we have people dropping in and out. So if you want um Henrietta for them to link on the Facebook link, I'll list it again for you. And Mum is listed as Hector. Oh, thank you so much. You're very helpful. Maybe I should make you co-host. <laughs> I will mm -hmm. definitely look for Mummy Philly. Oh wow. Um. Esosa in Michigan, Michigan, that's America, right? Congratulations, <laughs> my dear sis Pat. This my is niece. awesome. Congratulations, sister Pat. Well done. So I'll 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 move I'll I'll read more of these um as we go along, and I'll put the Facebook link again because we are in um uh we are on the hundreds. So if you cannot get into the room, you can look and go on to Facebook. The next person that we have up is Mrs. Mukami. Mrs. Mukami, M-B-E. Mrs. Mukami, M-B-E. Um, I'll just read out her details. She's a former policy manager violence against women in the, she's a former uh, so, former policy manager for violence against women in the Scottish government justice and human rights campaigner a mother and a godmother so let's see where you are let me just ask you to unmute hold on just a second there we go over to you okay well thank you very much um my sister, I don't know where to start. Congratulations and really well done. Um, 
we met just a few years ago. So I'm quite, I'm really grateful to Osaye and to Omo for filling in the gap be, before the, the the journey before, uh, and um, because my my time with Sister Patricia is quite recent, but within that time, I think I don't know exactly the date and time we met, but it, uh, it must be in Glasgow. And um, when you first meet Patricia, you can easily dismiss her because she's she appears quiet, but and. Um, She's not one of those people who are the first to speak, or you know, hear her voice booming from the back of the hall. You, you know, the, so, so you can easily um, dismiss her until you realize, until you look at her again. And what I saw is quiet dignity, quiet power. And I, as I got to know her through various projects, we we were working together on a program project for women. Um, um, we tried to establish in Scotland for ethnic minority women, and later at the African and Caribbean um, older people in, in Scotland. And then um, the latest one is on this, uh, we are both members of the Scottish Minority Ethnic Older People Forum of the um, uh, Age Scotland, and really, I'm saying this just to show you how my, uh, the journey continues. You, you know, it's 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 not where we are now, and where we are, uh, Patricia is still going. Um, Patricia has written a book about Julie, and I I think it was I touched that most of us can find a little bit of Julie in us. You know, there is a little bit of us it's, it's those who have been in um the diaspora in particular, you have two foot in the continent and here, I think the, the issues which are raised in the book, which is written, which are very serious issues in a way, but they're written with so much humor that this is the second book that I, I was reading um, on a train and laughing loudly, forgetting that I'm on a train and people looking at me because it's, it's the you come across little nuggets which remind you of 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 the similarity of Julie and the rest of us, and and I think that's really um, the fact that it it touches us in terms of our real lives is very important. Just on, on Tuesday last, um, this Tuesday, I think, we were together at the Scottish Parliament at the um, reception for Age Scotland. And again, um, when you see Patricia speaking to people, all sorts of people, including um, MSPs, she's so natural. She doesn't put any airs. She does not, you, you know, she, you wouldn't even think she got a PhD. But what she says, and this is what matters to me, is quality. When I say she has quiet dignity and quiet power, you may ask, what are you talking about? But one of the things that, uh, when I when she asked me to write um, the forward for the book, um, I, I said, me? Well, there's so many, because I was thinking, she needs somebody with gravitas, somebody powerful, somebody known to give this book the 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 sort of the 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 the, um, the gravitas it needs. And um, she just told me, and I'm much older than her, but you know, she's just she, it's almost like she reminded me of my mom saying, "Just try it." You know, when you say, "No, I don't want to eat this," my mom would say, "Just try it." And Patricia said. I asked you, I asked you, and I didn't have any, I couldn't say anything else because that said volume to me. She knew many other people, but she asked me. So um, uh, any other reason I was going to make, any excuse I was going to make was not valid. Um, and, in, and in another way, in many ways, she made me feel very important that she thought I was good enough to write a forward for her book. And, and I'm saying these things because this is the type of person um, she is. And, and, and I'm sure most of those who know her very well, better than I do, who have known her all her life would, would testify to that. 
And one of the things that I like also about the, this book is it's not sort of the end. You, you know, it's not the, um, some book have got a sort of, um, what do you call it, um, um, sell by date. You know, this one doesn't because the story goes on and, and our lives uh, uh, continue. Um, when I, when you, we can write a whole book about traveling on public transport while you are a black woman, where you are an African woman, the, the, the challenges we, the, and the fun we get. Um, one, one thing I like is traveling all the way from London to Scotland with four seats to myself or on a train, on a packed train. And, and she described that very well at one point about the, People will struggle, we will start, even stand instead of coming to sit next to you. Uh, and well, at our age, it doesn't bother me. It just means I have an extra seat for my bag and, and, and uh, that's okay. But it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's indicative of um, the kind of challenges Julie is, it goes through life. And, and um, we can laugh about them because that is where solidarity and our healing and our survival comes from. But we can also do something about it. And that is why being on the forums, like the older people, where we are raising issues and challenges that uh, older people feel and experience, um, is very important to be part of uh, that at that level. So as I said in the, in the forward, I'm really, really glad to be associated with this book. Um, I'm really proud of my sister Patricia for, for writing such a powerful book. It may, it's not just Africans we are known for storytelling, but you all know how the importance of storytelling because our stories always have a meaning behind them. And this is you have joined in that club of people who write uh, books and stories which have a message for all of us. And for that, I congratulate you. I'll spread the link to very many people. I've already done it. I'll keep, I'll keep telling people buy this book because I think it needs to be read, even if it's just to make us laugh loudly on the train and people think we are crazy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for that heartfelt speech. Um, you are worthy of writing the foreword and you do deserve to be here. And she saw something in you that was really beautiful. And um, hopefully this is many more forwards to come. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Journey Goes On. This is the debut author, Patricia's book come out. It's a, a new one in hardback, Kindle and um, paperback. I've put the links in the chat and I will continue to do so. Make sure you give the book a five star rating on Amazon. Yeah. And um, are you waving at me, Patricia? Hold on a second. Go for it. Good. Yeah, just um, I wanted to just add that uh, Sister Mukami was just on the talking herself. She has an MBE from the Queen of England. That's for services to community. You know, she was uh, working for the government for a long time. And then my sister, Osayi, the first speaker, I noticed that she was not introduced after you introduced my second sister, Sister Mukami. My sister, Osayi, is a head teacher in England. She's a head teacher of a school. And she's a big elder in her, in her church and a trustee of her church. And she's very much into church. She keeps me grounded, <laughs> trying to keep me um, holy. And close to God. That's why she's the one that opened it with prayers. Thank you very much, my sister, because she has something to do in church today, but she had to be here. And I wanted to say something before she goes away. And uh, and also to follow up on, on what she said. I'm sorry, friends. There are four pages. If I am not seeing you, I happen to just see somebody on the screen now who I must mention, who is our mentor, myself and Osai. She said I was her senior, and this person was my senior and my mentor, without her, I wouldn't have a PhD. Dr. Mrs. Jacinta Afe, all the way from Benin City, you know, 
She was the first woman head of service in her those states. A permanent secretary, name it, she was everything. She was, when we were together with her in the State Civil Service Commission, she's on your case. Why have you not registered for your master's? Why you are capable of a PhD? Why have you not started your PhD? That's the, that's the lady. Please, can you wave? Let everybody see you. That's Dr. Mrs. Jacinta Afe. Nice to see you, sis. She's six to, six to me. So thank you very much. Sorry, there are four pages. I will recognize people. I will do my thank you in the end. I will, but if I see uh, an elder, I will recognize the person. Thank you all very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. There we go, I'm muted. That's fine, Patricia, just give me a wave if you want to intercept because I don't want to make you co-host and you're going to see all the pop-ups. It might distract you. <laughs> no, I don't bit. want to see you. I told you but I don't yes. want to see <laughs> That's fine, no problem. Um, but yes, uh, Minister Osi, uh, Osai uh, is a head teacher in England and elders. I've got my notes here. It's all here. But I'm looking at this page and then I'm looking at this page. Um, but I have one more person to introduce, and this person is actually your label mate of Peaches Publications, and she is the first person to ever have a room filled with 100 guests. It was absolutely amazing. So um, I can see that, Patricia, you have walked in her steps, which is fantastic. So we wish you best things. And also what we want to do, what you might not know, and what Patricia hasn't said is that, you know, please give her some clicks and some hearts. She actually got to number seven before the book has been released today. She's 37. She got to number 37. So let's let's get her to number one, right? <laughs> I'll put it in the chat. So let's just give her some clicks and some hearts. Because that's amazing. Like to get into the top 100 where millions of books are on Amazon, let alone the top 40, let's get her to the number one spot. If everybody bought a book today, how the algorithms work is is it, it, it's hourly. I'm sure we can get her to number one. I'm sure by tomorrow she can hit the top spot. So let's make her dreams come true. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce um, um, our next following guest who's a retired teacher in the UK, human rights campaigner, a mother and a godmother. And it was on her launch that Patricia and I were to connect for the future. So um, Mary Osai Openg. Please unmute your mic. Come on in. Hello, everyone. When some <laughs> you made me feel so important. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, you everyone. Important. Yeah. Good evening. My name is Mary Osei Opong, the author, as Winsome said, of For the Love of Teaching the Anti-Racist Battlefield in Education. And great to see you, Winsome. It's been a long time. Thank you, Sister Patricia, for the honor of speaking at your book launch. To start with, I will, will let you know how I know this wonderful human being. I got to know Sister Patricia, as I affectionately call her, through the African and Caribbean Women Association, uh, Aqua Scotland. She was the chairperson at the time and my predecessor. I remember you contacted me in December 2020. This was straight after my own book launch. I was fully occupied with interviews and public speaking, ETC, but found a way to help a sister in need. And I'm glad I was able to accommodate a tight schedule. Again, we had a chat about your write-up in January, 2021, to look over what eventually became your manuscripts. I indeed looked at the work you had created and gave you positive feedback with encouragement to pursue your dream. I remember you saying to me, Mary, I want to follow your foot in your footsteps. 
that made my day, I would say. <laughs> you asked for the publisher of my book, and rightly, I gave you when some Duncan teaches publications business card. And the rest, as they say, is history. As we are in attendance here this evening to celebrate your achievement as an author, that's a big deal, my dear sister. <laughs> an author of the journey goes on, stories of life's adventure. You wrote your book with love and passion, reflecting on your family's life together. And the stories in your book will resonate with most readers. What an achievement. On uh, behalf of the African Caribbean Women's Association, Aqua Scotland, and the African and Caribbean elders in Scotland, ACES, I congratulate you. Our dear sister, Patricia, congratulations and well done on your accomplishments. And this is a copy of your book I purchased two weeks ago and got delivered last week. Please, let's support our sister by purchasing a copy of her book available on Amazon. Also, I will go on to show you two contributions she has made. First, and maybe some of you have seen this, the Aqua Book, the African Caribbean Women Association. Her story is in that book. And you can get a copy from the Scottish Civic Trust Office in Glasgow. Also, lately, Published in September is the African Caribbean Elders in Scotland. It's one life, two cultures. And I forgot to say the name of the, it's New Shoots, Old Roots. That is self-explanatory. Also, right, sorry. <laughs> When some, I can see that your business is getting bigger and bigger. And may God continue to help you to achieve wonders. And I'm so proud to be, for my book to be published by you. And I can say you are my publisher. And my dear sister, best wishes for your book launch, and also going forward, anything that you touch and do. So thank you for listening. Thank you. Oh, you make me want to cry. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm truly honored to know you. It has been an absolute blessing. You are a delight. You're very focused. And, um, you know, you've done so well with the marketing, so you can be marketing buddies, yeah? <laughs> you can be marketing buddies. So if you've just joined in, um, we just heard from label mate Mary, and what an inspiring connection. I feel like I need to go and move up to Scotland. This is uh, the debut book launch of The Journey Goes On by Patricia Arabia. And we are celebrating her wonderful book, which we're trying to get to number one. So click on the links in the chat. Um, so it's now my turn to share just to tell you a little bit about me and what it is that I do in terms of publishing. So here is my screen. And uh, let me just make it a bit full. Okay. So as I've said to you before, my name is Winston Duncan. I am a book confidence coach. 
and um, I've been working in publishing books from since 2000. And I recently started Peaches, Peaches publication seven years ago. I'm a five times number one bestselling author. And it's an amazing feeling um, to have your book in the top spot on Amazon. It's an incredible achievement. And I always try to, to push authors that I work with to do the same. So um, I've traveled a lot with the work that I do. I've written 26 books. I ghostwrite as well, stories. I have myself and my team. We work diligently together. And as you can see here, this picture was in the uh, City Hall in Tower Bridge at the time the London Mayor's Office, I go to quite a few of their events and they support the work that I do. And that was in conjunction with the Voice newspaper. And I was speaking to more than 300 young people. Um, here on the right, this is BBC London headquarters um, in Oxford Street. And I was there talking about my book. Uh, this was before lockdown and everybody was, you know, feeling free <laughs> and able to do shows. So when I say to my authors, they have to dream big and they have to think big, this is why that these opportunities can come along. Um, so this was my first number one best-selling book. It's called The Popcorn House. We've actually changed the cover now. So this is what it looks like. It is, um, we upgraded after we sold 1,000 copies. And this is about Zion and Nevea who go on a magical journey to the popcorn house and get into all kinds of uh, exciting adventures where their grandparents live. And it's about recognizing equal opportunities for authors in May, that, of black and brown faces that have um, a story to tell and a legacy to leave. And what's really exciting about that is that we've actually turned this into an animation, a 3D animation. And we are currently speaking to lots of broadcasters to get the story made into development. So um, it, it's, it's been exciting, you know, to, to transition into a career um, of script writing for television. And this is where your book can go. It's not just a book can be an audio book it can be a play um it can be a film it can be a documentary so that's how I want authors to start thinking about when they're moving on this journey so my charitable work the look like me book challenge is uh, my motivation currently 10 percent of BAME main characters are in children's books this was the reflecting realities report in 2021 and these are just some of the new young people that we worked with during lockdown who had a story to tell which was pretty exciting and um it's just gone from leaps and bounds we're working with bbc children in need working with um the national lottery awards for all and um, I think there's nothing more special than, you know, a young author. And if you look closely there in the top left, you can see I'm bursting into tears because I'm just so inspired by them. <laughs> and this is just some of the children's books I do. I do children and adults books, but um, these are just some of the books that, that I do that have become best-selling in, in top right. I've got a colouring book there. And I think my passion is to help authors leave their legacy um, on the 17th of May 2022, my cousin Wayne passed away, Wayne Bailey, aka Mr. Banton, and he died on the day that his book was published. He had that book in him for over 20 years. We did a GoFundMe campaign and he saw his reality, his dream come to life on those words. And this is why I do what I do, because after he's gone, he's left something for his family, his nieces, his nephews, his mum, his dad, and all of those that are left behind. So I implore you that if you're inspired by Patricia's journey today, to get on board, to reach out, I'll put my details in the contact and you can send me a message and be encouraged. So this is some of the press coverage I've had. Mary knows all about this. She's very good at doing press. So do buddy up with Patricia. <laughs> Um, we've been to like book festivals all around the world. Um, that black lady in the middle, a lot of people don't know who she is. She's actually the deputy mayor of London. 
Yeah. Her name is Dr. Debbie Weeks Bernard, and she's been being on board with some of the work that I have been doing. And I've got lots more articles um, than this as well. This obviously helps you to sell books, right? Being in the press. So on the left, we went viral in the um, newspapers, which was really kind of cool. The first time we ever went viral last year, October. You can see, um, love him or hate him, our friend here, Sadiq, but definitely continuing to support the work. So as an author, it's about strategically aligning with yourself, with brands, organizations, people that um, are in your field that can help get the message of your book out to a wider audience. And you can see that that's what I've tried to do here. And if you're interested, grab a screenshot right here um, so you can get in touch with me. You can send me an email at press at peacherspublications.co.uk and we can get you started on your book journey. Or you can go to the website www.peacherspublications.co.uk and I do have a workbook here which is what um, Patricia and I went through to get her started with the editors and my team on her journey. So um, this is where you start um, before you get into coaching and so on and so forth. So that's it. That's me for now. So thank you very much. Um, I will put those details in the chat. Now we're going to go to the lady of the hour, the one that you have all been waiting for. She's just like a ray of sunshine. We are honoured and privileged at the lives that she has touched. Um. She continues to pour into her children, her grandchildren and her family. And as you can see, she is well loved. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like you to be upstanding for the one and only Patricia Aradio. <laughs> Go for it, all yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Winston, you are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So, I don't know if I need to reintroduce myself. You all know this is Patricia Iredia, Dr. Patricia Iredia, if I may use it formally today. And uh, the newest, you are looking at the newest author in town. <laughs> so, the title of my book, as you know already, is The Journey Goes On Stories of life's adventure. So when we were talking about the launch, the host, uh, my publisher told me, oh, you are going to make a presentation. And then when I saw the initial program, 10 minutes, I said, oh my God, I went on Google. I've never done a, a launch before. I've never written a book before. So I went on Google to search how I was going to go about it. And this is what I came up with. So I'm going to start by saying a few words about the genesis of the book, a background to the book. And then later on in the program, I'm going to do some readings. And then at the end, I'm going to do uh, get a chance to say my thank yous, just in case you are wondering, that's coming later. So the background to the book, the title is a giveaway. The journey goes on. It means there was a beginning. My life has been a roller coaster, starting from Nigeria to now living in Glasgow, Scotland. My husband, my late husband, also spent some years working in the Middle East. So we got to experience that life, the life there as well. The profound purpose of writing this book was to share my lived experience, experiences, past and present, through this book, serving as a catalyst for personal and societal transformation. As I aged, I asked myself, what legacy can I leave behind for those coming after us? How do I take care of my health and well being at this phase of my life? I have been through many phases, like everybody else from childhood to graduating, to working, and then got married, emigrated to the United Kingdom, had children. Then 
widowhood came knocking prematurely, which was a very profound uh, experience as one would imagine. But fast forward a couple of years, and all the kids, uh, all the children had flown the nest, and I found myself alone in the house and had all this spare time on my hands. There were times when I just sat still and relieved different aspects of my whole life in my mind over and over again. Loss of old memories, mixed up with new memories that were being made, mixed up with all that was happening around me in the world, some monumental events like COVID-19, which affected and impacted on everybody, but there are personal stories to it as well. With all these thoughts swelling in my mind, I felt a compelling urge to write a book for a very long time. My teachers always told me I had a book in me, by the way, that's in the past. But I felt this compelling urge to write a book. But I was stuck in the wrong genre for a long time, for years, because I was trying to write a single story, a single story that encompassed all I was feeling, all I was thinking, all I was doing. I wanted to put everything together in one story and share it with others. But it started as a kind of extended diary. It was then uh, four years ago, I joined the writing class. And then my tutor in the writing class, having known me, gave me a book by Zadie Smith, Feel Free by Zadie Smith, which is the collection of essays. That was when I realized that I could put, that was my Eureka moment, when I realized that I could put all my collection of essays and points together in one book. I found that there was no single story. All the events in the book happened to, or was experienced by the same person at different points in the timeline, and they are all interconnected. Take, for example, the troubles in Northern Ireland, the war in Northern Ireland. It was about uh, politics, about religion, about race, about economies, about location. I was there. I was living there at the time and got entangled in it. The journey goes on. It's a chronicle of an immigrant woman. It is about the everyday living of an ordinary British Nigerian mom of five living in Scotland. It is a compilation of adventures, experiences, and lessons that readers would enjoy through Julie's lens. Some of the chapters are as follows. Only some, because there are many chapters. This old house. A house is not a home without people and wants. Tributes and reminiscence. It's about the leaders and mentors that inspired a generation of people just like myself. There's a chapter on aim higher, helping black children succeed in school. Julie shared some experiences and tips on how to help black children succeed at school and in life. She has successfully raised five children in this environment. Widowhood was a big chapter in the book, but the stories were not that serious, were not all serious. There were some humorous characters in the stories in the book. What the book will fulfill, I hope that anyone who reads my stories may be inspired by them to think differently about their situation and to do things differently in a positive way. My book promotes hope. Bad times don't last forever. Never give up and never have a defeatist attitude. Don't give in to cynicism, cautioned President Obama. My book promotes equal opportunities. Racism impacts 
the lives of both children and adults. And it is something to think about and to always uh, tell everybody and see what everybody can do to help the narrative. My book promotes humanity, stories of wars and stories of uh, discrimination means that everyone have a role to play to make things better for everybody. My book promotes resilience. Being a widow has taught me many lessons in life, which I have shared. For example, how to navigate awkward situations as a widow and some survivor strategies, which have worked for me. Still on resilience. In this phase of my life, and even before now, there are times you sit down and you think, oh, what, and just feel low, but never give in to inertia. Get up and go. I learned to swim at 64. Now I swim like a pro. <laughs> I have uh, Christine there. <laughs> Christine is smiling because she has my back. Because she had my back, I could swim the big, the big um, swimming pool. And then I do volunteering. I'm a panel member of Children's Hearing Scotland. I'm a forum member, as sister has told us, we are both forum members of Ethnic Minority Older People Forum Scotland. I joined many different organizations and with a widow and widowers group. Then I have my African groups which keep me grounded in my roots. I help with my grandchildren a lot, which is very rewarding to me. They keep me young <laughs> because I learn a lot and I laugh a lot. And the last but not the least, I've published a book at the age of 68. So hope my story will encourage other women in my situation, mothers and widows, to keep their heads high and never give up. There are always new adventures to take on moving forward. Please buy a copy of my book to read all these stories in full. Read the book and leave me a review on Amazon. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> You sound so filled with glory and um, pride and so on. Am I allowed to do a little spoiler? Yeah. In your book? I am, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason why you need to buy this book, and I remember when I first spoke to you about it, is that you had an incident when you were kidnapped. Now, that must have been quite traumatic for you. Do you want to just touch on a little bit of how you overcame that? Don't give us the details about what happened because they've got to buy the book. But how oh, did you overcome that? Which one was that? Wilson? Being kidnapped. Pardon? Kidnapped, kidnapped. How? Oh. Sorry, I'm not... I'm not getting it. All right, all right. They're going to have to buy the book to read that story then. It's fine. Uh, but you've been through a family? lot. Yes. You've been through a lot, basically. And I just wanted to encourage the people, like, how, you don't have to go into details, but how did you overcome that? It's yeah, scary. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, if you mean uh, attacked by armed robbers, yes. But I haven't actually been kidnapped. That's where the, the mix the, of uh, came, right, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The no, altercation. Attacked, yeah, attacked by, I was attacked by armed robbers twice and I'm happy, I'm lucky to be alive, you know. Um, basically, they just um, bail you up. As I was just trying to enter my compound back home in Bini, I was suddenly surrounded by armed carjackers and told to come out. Uh, lie down and uh, I was lucky they drove the car away almost driving it over my head you know so those are some of the stories twice I was I had that encounter with uh, armed robbers they even came to the house and there was a bit of a shootout we were lucky that uh, they were not entitled and didn't come back 
when we shot back. Because uh, <laughs> so that. But do you see how you can make this into a film? These different I elements that are your story, or at least the very least a documentary. You know, to preserve legacies. There's just so much that you can do with that, and that's what I'm learning as of you know into the um, realms of uh, television. And it's it's still trauma, isn't it? You know, gunpoint is is is, is not very yeah. nice. But what did you do to overcome that? Like you got your audience here. How did you get through that tra traumatic experience of the robbery? Uh, well, there there's nothing you can do. Uh, you know, back home in uh, Nigeria, you are surrounded by your family and friends um, all the time. In fact, the what the the one at my gate happened the very day my sister got married. She had a traditional wedding, and I was the one. Uh, I had a, a carton of beer, empty carton, collecting the money. So they they probably thought I took the money home with me, but I had left mon the money behind with my mom, because traditional weddings take place in the home of the bride. You know, you put on mu live music, everything. So that it happened on the same day. And then my shoes, my handbag, everything was left in the car. You can't take anything out of the car. Luckily, we didn't take the same car to the event because I had to leave early to go and help. So we didn't have, uh, that is how I was able to get back into the house. There's nothing, you could just pray. You just pray that God continues to, to guide you. You can only do so much to protect yourself. Just do basic, just as they advertise here, to be careful. Lock your windows, lock your doors, be careful. Same in Nigeria. They used, they tried many tricks to get me to open my door, you know. They can come to you. And that time there were no phones, no mobile phones. So and then people had children in boarding schools. And then they came to this lady and said, oh, this the principal sent me to come and tell you that your child is, is very ill in school if you want to come and collect the child. Uh, of course, the mother said, oh, my God, oh, my God, thank you very much. She grabbed her keys. And then as soon as she opened the door, she was invaded. So you start to learn from all that. When I got such a message, uh, something similar, uh, I said, thank you very much. Uh, I've already phoned somebody to go for me. I don't have to go myself. I've already telephoned somebody to go and check. I did not open the door. So oh, you are not. You, are, you just have to be extra vigilant. Just as anywhere, you know. Just wow. as uh, anywhere. That's, that's, that's I didn't know the tricks. I had no idea. I <laughs> yeah. mean, it's, it sounds scary to me, you know, being from England, different type of um, growing up. and But it was good that you had the wisdom and the insight. That was yeah. really, really good. Wow. Is, aren't you an incredible woman? Yes. They were, oh, sorry, God. I have to say there were good uh, types. I mean, it, it's not all bad. It's, it's bad news that makes uh, storytelling. I mean, you don't going to parties doesn't make storytelling. I can see my my big sister who lives in Benin. She still lives in Benin, so it's just like anywhere else. There's crime everywhere, but the one that affects you is the one that traumatizes you. You know, when it doesn't come near you and it doesn't affect you, you see it on television. You are like, oh, and then you don't think it will happen to you until it really happens to you yeah well yeah. i'm glad that you used your faith and prayers to get through such a harrowing yeah. um uh, yeah. uh time yeah so we've got some more chats that are, are piling up so uh grace says many many congratulations dr patricia Aradia. you are a woman of faith god is faithful this book is he's doing marvelous um I think it's supposed to be he is doing and is marvellous in our sights. God has rewarded you for all the sacrifices and he is moving you from one glory to another. Best regards from Kenya. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Okay. Um, and then we have um, Christmas is coming. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. McCammy. Christmas is coming, people should buy a book 
for their friends and their family as a present. And also uh, Black Friday is coming. And when it's Black Friday, Amazon do discounts on books as well. So you can get um, a little money off and um, the author still gets the same amount of royalties. Akuiho says, congratulations, my dear sister. I pray that this great achievement in uh, writing this book will be rewarded in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Sister Pat. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Sister Pat, on this achievement. I know you are a goal getter. The best is yet to come i mean i can go on and on and i probably will actually just you know print off the list so you can see everybody who has um you know wished you well so we're going to move on now I, I can see that your sister your big sister your elder sister is no longer here unless she's on another name so i have put in the chat for her to make known but um your elder sister mrs Catherine, can you see her patricia no, there are four pages. I can only see a few people. Call her name and somebody. Uh, if she's not there, she has probably delegated somebody to do it for her. They are, they, I have several sisters in Philadelphia. All right. So, so they're all there. Do, do, do you want to uh, message us or put your hand no, up? Call her name and find out if somebody is representing her. She is here. Okay, great. Oh, Could you okay. tell me what name she's listed that? So I put Catherine in. And it didn't Catherine. it didn't come in. So if you just tell me what name Catherine, she listed. Catherine Omori, are you there? And then we'll get her to unmute. Thank you so you much there? for your help and support. Is she there? Ah, oh, brilliant. I, I, I've got it. She's here. She's here. I've got it. I found okay. out. I can't I, I can't see I only see a few people on my screen. No problem. I I'm gonna I'm gonna get her up. Just one sec. Okay. Here we go. So could you mute, unmute your mic for me? Okay. Mrs. Catherine. Okay. Okay. Really helpful. I oh, hear she is. Yay. Actually, yeah. I'm, Elder I'm sister. Here. My name is Abeyua. I'm also this we're both sitting here. So I'm gonna be speaking on behalf of the family. Yes. One of we are so so uh, all of us are present here at the moment. We've got a little bit of an echo. Is there another device so we that have you can a... down? So we can so hear your message our... loud and clear. Open. So I guess I'm gonna have to no, let me go somewhere else. Okay. Let me go somewhere else. Um... Sorry, we are both on the same uh that's fine, but welcome because we want to hear your lovely message. I'm gonna move away because we both we both had our uh things open, so it was echoing. Uh so my That's name better. is there you were a woman say. Um uh, and I'm very, very happy. All my sisters, I can see everybody's on this page at this moment. So I uh, but my big sister from Nigeria, a big shout out, uh Miss Mary Oronsaye, my mother. Everybody's on this uh, group. So we just want to say we are very proud of you, Staff uh, Pat. You've always been very vocal and making your needs known and, you know, have a story to tell, all the idioms and everything. So and uh, I'm representing the family here tonight to recognize your achievement, to say that we are very happy and we are very proud of you and that uh, we're, I personally have been reading the book, <laughs> the book. I went, I looked through the uh, contents and I went straight to the page 257 where the remote island, because I could relate to that, you know. I, have, uh, I haven't lost my husband, but, you know, I'm not married right now, say divorce or whatever, but um, we, we've been through thick and thin with Sister Park when she was in uh, Isle of Lewis and uh, our Isle of Lewis. I don't know how you all call it in England, but. I know there's different uh, expressions, how people say things in America and uh, also in England. So um, when she was in Stonaway, when she went to Glasgow, we've been through all that. And also uh, Dr. Iredia of uh, Blessed Memory, we are, uh, we are putting to visit with them in Stonaway while they were there. And I will tell you that just like she says in the in that chapter right there, it's like, it's like poetry. I would say she's a poet. She always has a lot of things to say. So 
I looked at it through the uh, isolation, the sadness, and how I also went there and I saw the warmth of the people, how they receive, I mean, the people, uh, I mean, it's a little island. So really it wasn't like a, a, a lot to do there, but at the same time, a lot to do because uh, you get into the moment. It's a restful place. She, I really related with that part of in her book. I know it's at the end, but I went just straight to see what she had to say about that. But, um, you know, it's that part. We love you. We're uh, going to promote this book. We're really, really excited that you're able to write this book. We're also already looking forward to the second chapter, you know, and uh, we 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 look forward to reading this book. Everybody's uh, interested. Well, everybody got a copy here in America. We all got a copy of the book, as far as I know. And we are really, really uh, encouraged to read it and motivated, you know, by your stories, you know, as a, a widow, like you said, and uh, being alone through this journey and all the th uh, things that you had to do and where you are at this moment, not letting the things that, you know, um, have happened in the past be part of your uh, future to, um, let you uh not achieve what you wanted to achieve you know so that's a big step in the right direction so we just want to say thank you to almighty god for making all this possible in your life because i know that you're a strong believer also and uh also want to thank uh all the uh your family for keeping you i mean we as a family uh group with 12 kids in this family we are a close-knit family but I know despite that my sister has always been my sister has always been very, very much an intricate part of this uh, family getting united and staying together because it's like she said, she's a widow, she had no job, she always volunteers for things. So anything that's happening in the family, we can count on her to be the number one person to, you know, kind of uh, 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 keep the group informed because some of us might not necessarily be so um involved but she made sure she let everybody know what's going on you know she has a lot of time she helped with the kids the grandchildren and the kids have kept her very well uh, uh occupied over there if not the loneliness like she expressed was in, in isle of uh in the island of uh lois or uh, stunaway would have been greatly would have greatly impacted on her life at this moment but she moved away from that and she's able to join the I will join the workforce a little bit. So I'm so proud of you, Starpat. And I really give you kudos. I'm sure my sisters, everybody should give her a shout out, whoever is there right now. Sisters, and with that, I say, um, that's, I just, well, that was just a brief, uh, I don't want to keep, keep talking, but you know, we are proud of you. Keep it going and we we'll continue to support you. Continue to support you. All the sisters, yeah, give her a shout out. Thank you, Miss Winsome. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. That is just so inspiring. We are going to have the family up next, so uh, prepare yourself, Mrs. Um, Icy and Dr. Iro. You're going to be after. So, um. Okay, thank you for letting me know. We will unmute the mics at the end, but we have a large group in here, so that's why we haven't um, unmuted everybody, but don't worry. You will be able to all talk at the end. So, um, I just want to show you something that I'm really, really inspired by. So for those of you that haven't got the book yet, the journey goes on on Lux's captivating stories told through the colourful character of Julie and the ordinary immigrant woman with a remarkable life journey and, um, and ample experiences to share. Now, if we go down here, we can see the book is 282 pages. So it's a really good read. And if we go a little bit further, we can see... Da, 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 da. Patricia is now in the top 37 cultural history biographies, which is an amazing achievement. So I just want you guys to screenshot that 
and share with your family and friends. Because to get in the top 100 is truly, truly, truly a blessing. That's not an easy mm -hmm. feat. It's not an easy feat at all. So make sure you grab a screenshot and you share it with friends and family. I'm sure by tomorrow we can get her at least in the top 10, at least. And, you know, just by each person buying a book and supporting, at least. Let her Christmas wish come through. You should be very, very happy. Congratulations mm -hmm. and well done. Right, so the next speaker that we've got up is now um some of the names are different to what's on my list but i'll just kind of just go with what i've got here miss it and i believe this is another family member mrs i see hello ho let's see um if we can get you to unmute just hold on just one sec Oh, don't worry. There'll be shout outs. <laughs> They're wait, waiting to speak to you. It's coming. It's a coming. We're nearly done. Right. Let's just, here we go. Beautiful. So if you can just unmute your mic, Mrs. Icy. Um, there we are. Thank you. You go ahead. Oh, hello. Hi, my name is Isi Elaho. And I am, hi, everybody. Thank you so much so much i am so overwhelmed by the support from everyone you know coming today i am the first child of patricia and my late father isaac radia and um i'm so so proud today of the book that my mom has written um, my mom is honestly i'm not as eloquent as my brother and i do get quite emotional i'm feeling emotional right now because my mom is just so amazing and I wish I could be half the mom she is. She's so courageous and she's she's gone through hard times and she just always finds a way to shine through. And she's just been a great support to me and the whole family. She's a ray of sunshine and she always puts 110% into anything she's doing. and. She's written this book and I'm so, so proud of her. Even when I think I can't do things, she pushes me. She pushes me to do great things and I've changed careers. I've completed masters. I've done things that I really didn't think I could do because my mom has been so supportive. You know, I came into, I moved from accounting and came into nursing career and my mom was my my babysitter, not just a babysitter, she basically was living with me. She was my sister, my friend. I can discuss anything with her. She's so open, such an open person, full of love, generous in every way to everyone she meets, not just, you know, not just her children. And she's just super amazing. And this book is brilliant. I read it and I laugh. And I'm, I, said to, I said to my husband, I said, she shouldn't even have changed the names because we know exactly who these people are, <laughs> you know. But um, you know, I I don't I want to say a few words because if I'm going to talk about my mom, I could be here all day, you know. She can drive me crazy sometimes, you know. She's full of opinions <laughs> about everything, but also, you know, she's just an amazing, amazing woman, amazing heart, and and I'm just so grateful that she's my mother, and I just want to thank everyone that's made the effort all my lovely aunties my uncles my in-laws i can see my in-laws from nigeria the obasu ones i can see the ones from from london the obasu is the color wall is i'm just so happy i'm so happy that everybody is come to grace's location and i thank you so much for for this and please everyone make an effort and just try to get the book in any format you like thank you so much and my husband just wants to say a word i know he's not on the list mm. But my husband is my mom's son. Trust me, <laughs> this is my mom's son. And please let him just say a word. Mom, thank you. Thank you for writing this book because your life is an inspiration. It's good. We are all blessed that you put it down on paper so that we can have it forever. 
You are an amazing mom. You are not mother-in-law. You are my mother. And the things that you have done, the things that you will continue to do, we will continue to celebrate you. And we are just grateful to have you in our lives. Your book is going to be a bestseller. Don't Amen. Don't worry about that because your life is interesting. Your life is inspirational. And you have used this book also to tell us stories about dads that I did not meet. Your husband, this is daddy, Dr. Aradia, you have used this book to continue to, to praise him, continue to remember him, and he will live forever in that book. So thank you very much, Mom. Thank, thank you. you. We love you. <laughs> oh, oh, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. That was so inspiring. And let the tears flow because the tears are healing you know and it lets off endorphins and emotions and dopamine so um that was really 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 beautiful oh so we're going to hear from some more of your family so i'm now going to ask dr iro to unmute in just a second i believe it's iro o let's see please unmute hi hi my mom's waving vigorously. I don't know if she wants to say something. Can I talk, mom? Okay. Let's see what she wants to say. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Um, I just want to uh, correct the notion that uh, only her name was there. Please, can my husband speak? <laughs> on the program, I put the program on the page. It's you and your family. Yeah. I, I, I can't. See, my, my, my sons in laws are, are my sons. My daughter in law will get a chance to speak. <laughs> to show you this. Yeah, oh my. It's the whole family. <laughs> I just put your name because. I said, Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. It's everybody. We have evidence. <laughs> it's it's the they saw the program. Yeah, we don't want you to cause offense. So, yeah. Yeah, aunt's family, I said. Yeah. Yes. Okay, hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. Really appreciate you. Um, I, I can't shout out everyone, but big thank you to all my aunties and cousins from the US, um, UK, um, my mom and dad from Benin City. I can see your beautiful faces. I'm so grateful to see you all here. Um, thank you for attending this opportunity. Me and my husband are really grateful. So just a few words about my mom. Um, I won't spend too long because E.C. has said a little bit. I'm her second child, the one that looks the most like her, and the one that probably has very similar personality. Hence, I'm featured in the story as the person who would argue with an elderly <laughs> saint. Um, my mom's fantastic. One thing I love about my mom is that she can talk to every and anyone. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are. She would speak to a beggar on the street the same way she would speak to Prince King Child, right? She met him. And she treats everyone the same. And she's very loving. She knows she has this knack of bringing people close to her. And this confidence in just talking to people. So I always try to emulate that to my work. Say what will mom do? How mom react to the situation? And um, she's the kind of person that no matter how difficult you are as a person, she so she, she goes she does that thing where you like kill someone with love, like kill them with love, um, essentially. So I'm so proud of her in this book that she's really written. Um, my six year old has probably read more of it than I have. And um, has been really enjoying the stories to the point that she actually hid a book for herself. I ordered a few copies and she hid one for herself so that her little brother, this young man here, um, won't keep taking it. Because once he sees the book, it's Nana's book and it belongs to him, nobody else. <laughs> she's, been, she's read more of the book than I have. and She's really enjoyed it. <laughs> So thank you, mom, for your support, your love, and your kindness. My mom is um, just an incredible woman. And reading the, the book, actually, it sounds like she's talking. It's just very much how she is in real life. And so it's very easy to get into the stories when you're reading them. Um, one thing I'll say is my mom as well as just being someone who can talk to anyone and draw people close to her. She's extremely generous. She's kind of mom should literally be carrying a bag or wearing a shoe. And it's like, oh, it's nice. And she's like, yeah, you can have it. 
Like, so I always wonder how she has enough clothes and shoes and things because she's constantly giving them away. Um, thank you, Mom. We're so proud of you with this book. It really documents your journey. And that journey isn't over. That journey isn't over. I know you're going to do great and wonderful things. You, you think, oh, I want to write this book to leave a legacy. And you don't know that you've already left the legacy in just the life that you've, le that you've lived and um, the example that you've given to us. This is a woman who was sits down with you and literally writes your know, school essay with you. She used to revise with me. I remember mom used to sit with me and revise with me. We'll go through science, we'll go through English. We'll, well, that was math. But, you know, that was kind of mom she was, very hands-on. And as much as she's pushing you, she's giving you that support to do and be the very best that you can. So I'll just let my husband know I didn't have a few words. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Mom, we are very grateful. Uh, and we, we are really proud to be part of your life. And we pray that God will continue to keep you and of course you deserve Amen. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. I think I've got a message from Mummy. Thank you so much, Dr. Iro. Uh, mummy saying that she has to leave. Did um was mummy on the list to speak, Patricia? Let me know. Thank you for the message before they go. Which mummy? Um, I've got here. If I've got it right, hold on. Let's see. Uh, Hector Itomi. Oh. Yeah. Once again, congratulations, Pat. Your immediate family and larger family. I'm so sorry. I have to leave for another Zoom meeting. Were they on the list? No, no, no. It's my brother-in-law from Lagos. We are my mom. is staying with my sister. Okay. That's my brother-in-law. My sister. Should we, should we just yes. say our bias? We don't need Uncle to. Hector, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Looking after Have my a... mother. Okay. <laughs> and this is a family affair that even the children can read it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I'm going to try and pronounce this name very well. Please forgive me. If my pronunciation is off, I may have to go and do some learning. Now, there's two of you here, so I'm going to go with the one that has the on-mic feature. Um, so I'd like to now introduce you. And isn't that amazing? Everyone's talked to this. That tells you a lot about your mothering skills, Patricia. Um, uh, so Dr. Ayi, could be. is that right? Is that wrong? Tell me. Unmute your mic, please. Unmute your mic. I just asked you to unmute it. Can you see the unmute function? We can see one of your um. You got we've got you down this twice. I don't know why. Yeah, got, we've got you down this twice. Yeah, oh, there we go. Sorry, I want to use my other one, but it's fine. Use my other one, but it's fine. There's no mic. 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 If you attach the mic to it, you can use it. It's okay. All right, we're we're back. It's okay. Can you see me? Nope. Can't see you. But there is Hello, another. Can you hear me? We can hear you fine. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Can brilliant. Yeah. So, um, hello, everybody. Um, thank you so much for coming to this book launch for my mom. Um, who is um, as you know, Dr. And Mrs. Patricia Radia, the most accomplished woman that I know, to be honest. I've never met anybody with so much energy. I don't know anyone who knows my mom, but she is extremely enthusiastic about life. And it doesn't matter how tired she is. If she has something that she says she's going to do for you, she will wake up at 5 a.m. and start preparing early for something that is at 5 p.m. So she's extremely dependable. You can trust her to, to always show up and always do like an amazing job whenever she's involved in anything. So that is one of the things that I learned about my mom from a very young age. She's, she's completely trustworthy, you know? Um, the other thing that, you know, I learned about my mom from a very young, long, young age is that mom is always right, <laughs> okay? No matter how you look at the situation, you realize after going left, going right, going around in circles, you end up back in the same place because mom is always right, you know? And that's because she's got life experience. And this book was so rewarding to read because I love reading I read really fast so I read the book really fast and then I read it again and on the second time I was reading it I realized like how much you feel like 
you know, just the little things that, like you say, we experience every day, you know, um, that you don't really think about anymore. Like when you sit next to somebody on the train, I really loved that scene of the book, um, how your your thighs were hurting because you were you had them so tense and you had them, you know, so tight together. So try and avoid, you know, touching this person that sat next to you. Just stories like that just really made me, I don't know how to explain it. They made me feel so close to, like, you know, you, this is somebody that's lived such a full life and has found a way to express all her experience don't have our sorts of experiences as people of color you know when you are uh, grew up you know in a white community in a you know in a country like england scotland where you are the anomaly so to speak there's so many things that you experience that you never know how to put into words and you kind of almost just let it get by you in life and it's just really good that we've got somebody who so eloquently can just explain in a simple story, how something like that has such a big effect on, you know, on her. And I really, really enjoyed reading about that. And I think it kind of inspired me to maybe think about how I approach life and, you know, how is how we express ourselves and what we can do to try and change things in the future, you know, what we can do to make people aware, I guess. So, you know, um, Mama, very, very proud of you. You have been writing this book for years and amongst all the other things that you do, your children's panel, all your volunteering stuff, the way you help the whole family, like not just us, the extended family, you're always on the phone, talking to somebody, giving advice, you know? You're constantly really proud of you. And I think, you know, you really deserve every success in life. And I hope that your book hits number one tomorrow. I'm going to go and buy 10 more copies. You know, and I'm going to promote it to everyone that we know. And, you know, we're so proud of you, Mom. So thank you. Thank you so much, you know. um, Well, my husband just is here and he wants to say something as well. Okay. Good evening, Mom. Shala here. Um, for all who don't know, I'm uh, Iegbe's husband. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations on your book launch. Um, I know a lot of you know, blood, sweat and tears has gone into this book launch. And, you know, it's been fantastic reading this book. And it's, it's been a testimony to the hard work that you've put into this. Um, I'm so glad to see the turnout here um, and everybody that's here to to, to, disp to to hear about what you've done in this book. Um, thank you for all your love and support over the years. You know, you're, you're an extremely wise lady. You're a fantastic role model to, to your children, um, to all that know you. And, you know, I'm really pleased um, to, to, to read this book. Yeah. And, you know, I, I pray it will be a success in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for all your love and support over the years. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. We love you. Amen. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow. Um. Okay, so this is part two. We are now going to hear again from Patricia this time she is going to do a book reading and um, share with you some insights to her story. So take it away. All right. Um, uh, please, uh, I have to remind you that you've left somebody out. My son's wife is there and I'm sure she would want to say even hello. Beverly Iradia. You know, my son is at work. She's at home with the baby. So if you can just give her uh, time to quickly say what she has to say, if she has a- Just say she... her name again, and then I'll get her to- Beverly, here. she's on my screen. She happens to just be on my screen. Beverly Iradia. Okay, no problem. Over she's the only one with my name. <laughs> oh, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it's just a quick one because my husband's already spoken earlier. That was Omanua Iridia. Um, I just want to say a big, big, big congratulations on your book launch. We are all so proud of you. Um, I just wanted to talk about the moment I started reading it. So I was in the living room and I thought, you know what, let me start now. Actually, let me just, just guess a page, open it up and see what I find. And I was standing there for about 10 minutes, gripped, I immediately texted my husband, who was at work, saying, this book is amazing. What a legacy you have created. I messaged my group chat, my family group chat, and I said, everybody must buy this book. It is absolutely brilliant. Descriptive, emotive, and I, I'm just... 
so lucky to have this legacy and um I also had to go and buy the hard um oh. what's it called hard book copy yeah this I, I want something that's more hard wearing baby as well this book is amazing and if you haven't already purchased please buy it you will enjoy it you will learn more about my mum and I just want to say thank you thank you for putting down your experiences into into words and um you are a very wise woman I've always said that from the moment I first met you your wisdom your experiences they're all in here and we're just so honored to have you as a mum um yeah that's it short and simple thank you so much congratulations thank you thank you thank you I Thank you. And, and wisdom, you forgot one of my daughters. I have four girls and a boy. Uh, they just came to remind me that you forgot my fourth daughter, Imadi. Imadi Omoregi. Okay, so if I'm looking at the list. Imadi, when yes. We, when we did Dr. Um, that uh, she's before Dr. Omonua. She's Omoa, before Dr. Yeah. Omo. Dr. Omo. I didn't realize that, that Beverly was fine, so apologies. Now, <laughs> On my list, after Dr. Iran, before. Uh, mm -hmm. before, right, so say the name again. Imade, Imade, I-M-A-D-E, Miss Omoregi. Okay, I don't know why I can't see. We have a problem. She's the uh, one before Dr. Omo. No problem. Could you unmute, please, Ahmed? It's that she's actually after you, but you'll let her go now. And then oh, she's my child, yeah. Me. Yeah, she's after you, Patricia, on the list, but don't worry. If you want to go. 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 Hi there, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Hi, I'm, I'm just going to keep it brief as I have got my three-year-old with me and there's only so much bread I can really give her. I think she's had about a loaf now, um, but I just want to say, um, it, oh, sorry, just to introduce myself, my name is Emade Omorige. Um, so I sorry, my husband, uh, Osan Omorige, oh, couldn't be here tonight as he had um, some very important engagements to take care of. But he sent his love, mom. He's so proud of you and he's amazed about everything you've done. He's not, he's not shocked because he knows what you're like. Um, anything you set your heart on, you achieve it. Um, so from my perspective, I just want to say that you know, I think we've summed it up here. Mum's an amazing woman. Oh, She's wow. truly inspirational. Um, I can say there are lots of scenes in that book that were certainly very familiar, um, you know, to, to Julie and to me. Um, but growing up, um, my mum was the kind of person that never once, you know, made me doubt my myself, my confidence. I think for a long time, I never even realised what race I was because I was just so confident in my skin and Mom just made me feel so proud about who I was and, you know, nobody could ever get to me in that sense. So I think I owe her for, for, the, for the confidence I have, for I owe her for, you know, you know, the empowerment that she's given me, the belief that I can achieve anything I set my, my heart on, that definitely comes from my mom. And, you know, even how I carry myself in, in general in life, it all comes from my mom. You know, some people might say you're, you're too confident or you, you love yourself too much, but I think that's an important skill and the important thing in life to learn to love yourself. And my mom really taught me that. So I, I'm, I'm very grateful to, to have that. Um, you know, I'm inspired by my mom every day by her great achievements. She just keeps going and going and going. And, you know, she just constantly makes you realize that there's there's so much to life. You know, there's so much to life. There's so much to love. And, you know, just to get up and keep moving, no excuses. And really, um, I just want to say thank you all for the support, um, for showing up for my mom today. Uh, please purchase this book. You will laugh. You will cry. You'll be on a roller coaster of emotions, but you, you'll end up, you know, elated at the end of it. So please support mom. And mom, thanks again for everything you've done for me, my family, my husband, my kids. We love you so much. And we pray, pray that God keeps blessing you in life and everything that you do. Thank you. Love you, mom. Bye. Then I say bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. There's nothing wrong with a bit of bread and butter. <laughs> it's beautiful. Well done. So, Patricia, is that all of your babies? Have they all spoken? Yes. Any more that no, has no. to come before you? Are you ready no. to close the show? Yes. Uh, as oh. I told them before, the thank yous are coming at the end. 
I have an uh-huh. agenda. I'm trying to follow the script to the best reading. of my ability. Over to you. Take it away. Thank you. So, so these are a few testers from the book. Please read the whole book to enjoy all the readings in the right context. So th- this first one is from the chapter Aim Higher. When you get a low mark, it is because you haven't worked hard enough, says Julie. Children in her house were not allowed to use the expression, the teacher gave me 40%. No, you got 40%. Julie quickly realized that if we do not establish this mindset early on in life, that child will develop excuses for failure. It is a Herculean task to build children's confidence in an environment that may be sometimes difficult or negative, but this is a task that must be done. Fast forward the beach and we have, the home must be a loving, stable home so that children can better face the realities in their world. There's another one from um, the chapter on how to navigate uh, widowhood. Do not live a life of regrets, as this is pointless. We are only here for a time. Do not compare yourself to or compete with anyone. Do what makes you happy and fulfilled and do what you can. Do not even compare yourself to another widow or let someone else tell you to emulate another widow. Sometimes a widow is advised to move on and imitate those who have remarried or have a new partner. Do not be made to feel guilty for not being so inclined. No one knows what your priorities or your needs are but yourself. Do things at your own pace, especially when children are involved. Socialize as much as possible through group activities, such as church events, and attending friends' parties. It is time to embrace the single life by joining groups where one can be an individual. The the next one is from uh, this old house, A-U-L-D, an old Scottish uh, way of uh, saying old. Julie sat in the car for quite a while, transfixed and unable to drive. The house she had grown up in was still standing in front of her, and people were living in it with whom she felt no connection. That day, it dawned on her that the emotion she felt was nothing to do with the physical building, but rather the memories of life with her family, the magical moments of growing up, the love, tears, pain, and laughter. Julie could now identify with the sentiments of a friend she had visited just after she had lost her remaining parents. When her friend had said to her, waving her hands around the room, the living room, she said, so all this is now history. Fast forward, she thought of herself as a wife, mother, and grandmother and tried to refocus her mind on the new generation and the new memories that they were making, they are making together. One day, they will be left to reminisce about their early life and all the places they have lived in and visited. From Nigeria to the Middle East and different cities in the UK, as they look back on their life with their parents, The only thing that will be certain is that it will not be about the buildings or locations, but about the family and all the memories they made together in all those places. And the last one is uh, from the chapter on the journey goes on. This was on the train to London. Julie was closing her eyes when she heard the lady in the red coat talking to her. So where do you come from? She asked. Julie replied, I'm originally from Nigeria, but I live in Glasgow now. 
The lady then asked, so why did you leave your country and come to this country? Her tone was not friendly. So Julie quickly realized that this would not be a friendly conversation. It was an inquisition. So she pretended not to hear the question and leaned back on the headrest. The lady asked her next question. So what are you doing here? Julie lifted her head and looked the lady in the eye and, and asked her, do you mean right now on this train? I am doing what everybody else is doing, traveling on a train to visit family or on holiday or for business. What else is there to do? Julie promptly rested her head back and turned her face to the window as the channel announced stopped in on T's as the next stop. This questioning was common. It's a life in the day of Julie. Scrambling to her feet, Julie reached up to get her bag from the overhead luggage compartment and exited the train. As she put her suitcase along the platform, hurrying towards the north exit, she knew she had reached her destination today, but the journey would continue tomorrow. I will end the readings with a quote that ended my book. Keep the faith, keep the light, be the light. Thank you. Wow. There's a famous saying uh, that Kanye West says, racism is still alive. They just be concealing it. That mm -hmm. is powerful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. I would just like you to, um, let's just get this right. Yes, I would like you to all unmute your mic and give a roaring applause for the talent. Okay, come on, give an applause. Come on, Obi. Okay, shout out, right? Come on. I can't hear you. Receive your applause. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Patricia. We are so proud of you. So glad. Great things that have been said about you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done, sister. Pat, it was amazing. Well done, Mr. Well Pat. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Can you say something? Yes. I know, I saw her. Because my brother said, hey, Sergio, let me say pretty, something. And intelligent. And that was. He did you want to say back on? He saw in you. Because he said, Mommy. Thank you to pick you. Better. 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 Okay. So. And that's why the part that his daughter ran. You still achieve the goal. Okay, so let's get our hands up and let's I'm get the questions you. going. So, um, put the questions in the chat. Okay. Okay. All righty. So, um, I'm going to just ask everyone to meet just for a second as we get some order. Uh, <laughs> you can see that you are well loved, Patricia. So um, the first person over here, um, 
okay, please unmute. Go for it. I see. Okay. Sorry. No, no. I just want to say how proud I am of you. And I'm proud. I'm so grateful. Sorry. Well, no, no, I love you. And you're my biggest inspiration. And that's, my this is the, that's my this first is grandson. First, this is the first grandson. This is my son. And because of our Nana, we're going to keep working hard in school to achieve great things. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. A doctor in the making. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. So it seems like I think we've got congratulations and, and, and questions. So I'll take both. If you would like to congratulate uh Patricia or if you have a question, let's let's go for the video first, or you can put in the chat. So let's see. Give me a little wave. Uh who we got there? They say you can speak normally. Okay, I would have uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. Well done. Okay, <laughs> we need to get some order here. So um, if you give me a wave, if you want to speak or if you put your name in the chat, then I will go to you. Uh, we have a question here. Uh, let's see. Um, either message in the chat if you want to speak or congratulate Patricia, because that's what I'm saying. This is why I had the mic muted, because I knew this would happen. So you can hopefully understand now. All right. So the first question is to ask you why she called her heroine Julie and didn't use her own name. Very, very good question. We spoke about that in lengths, didn't we? Um Go ahead and let's unmute you. Hold on. Right, go for it, Patricia. Well, thank you very much. It was very easy for me to decide, you know. To start with, I didn't want a book in which I was talking about I, 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 because the book, I didn't think the book was about me, even though it was about my experiences. Because most of the things in the book, affects everybody's what's happening in the world. And then the choice of uh, the name Julie, that's my mother's second name. For those who don't know, she was born in July. And uh, as the dentist, uh, as my dentist asked me, because he knows all my children have uh, African names. Why you have an English name when your children have African name? I say, yes, it's all in the book because I'm a colonial child. In our time, we were not, when we were baptized, we were not allowed African names. You had to have a name from a Bible and, and stuff like that. But later they realized that there is God everywhere. My name means God's gifts because in my language, Osa, O-S-A is God, you know, and I'm Osareme, the gift of God. So nowadays you can do your baptism with African names, so long as it's not the God of thunder or the God of iron. So that will make you understand um, the different names. So I just decided on Julie because Julie is my mother's name as I didn't want my book to run in the personal. I didn't want the I, this, I, that, I, that, so. And it's very interesting because normally authors put the book in an in alternative name, which we either call a pseudo name or a pen name just purely yeah. because they uh want to avoid being sued for legal reasons but everybody could easily identify themselves here so okay great so if you'd like to um uh, answer a question or say congratulations please give us a wave um thank, thank you okay you see, I'll be uh, thank you. don't forget we have a question do you want to go straight to thank yous or do you want your guests no 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 if you have if somebody is if somebody's asking a question, I'm just reminding yeah. you. So, okay. yeah, I haven't done my thank you. I'm in full control, mummy. Thank you. Thank you very much for helping me. Your family's been very good behind the scenes. All your doctor children have been messaging me and helping me. So, thank you very much. <laughs> One hand can't clap. Anyway, right. So, we've got congratulations. It says here, Auntie Pat had. Uh, has amazed me with her knowledge, wisdom, and sound advice. This is from 
Osatu and she has been a blessing to me in ways she may not know and I'm so proud of her success today from her nephew Osatu. So congratulations uh, from Hasana, uh, congratulations um, auntie from SA, oh. congratulations from Asuwa. You've got lots of congratulations coming in. Um, and Christina, congratulations. We've got another question for you from, uh, no, we've just done that one, from Beverly, who we heard speak earlier on. So this question is, um, oh, let's go back. Uh, what is the most surprising thing you've learned whilst writing your book? Wow, you got me there. That's a very clever person to ask a very <laughs> difficult question. It sounds simple, but difficult. So you said, what is the most surprising thing I found? Yes, I... write your book. And that's from uh, your daughter, Beverly. <laughs> oh, Beverly. Dr. Omo's <laughs> wife, who's still yeah, here, actually. Yeah. The doctor is yeah, in the yeah. building. It's a good question because the most difficult thing I found writing the book was being honest. Being honest is not always easy, you know? Sometimes you stop and say, should I say this? Should I say that? But I always erred on the path of honesty. You know, and because you have to be, you have to be so diplomatic. You have to be so, not diplomatic. You have to be sensitive uh, uh, that you're not hurting um, other people's uh, stepping on toes, so to say, and make sure that the book is factual. So if you read my book, there will be nothing to... You remember when she asked me about uh, kidnapping? And I know she was... Uh, I said, no, I have. there's kidnapping. I mentioned it. Kidnappings on the highway, but I haven't been kidnapped. So that is one thing I learned, to be honest. To be honest and, and truthful. That way, um, you always have a clear conscience, don't you? And you are able to answer any question. Without any confusion. That's okay. good, good, good. So, congratulations, Auntie Pat from Jane. Massive congratulations on incredible success. So proud of you, Monica. Uh, Massive congratulations, Auntie Pat. Just realised I didn't even know your your Binny name till now. Oh, you're in trouble. Um, <laughs> congrats again sis we love you can't wait to read the second book all right so we'll take two more and then um we're going to do thank yous because uh we are a little bit over time uh congratulations from the san tangelis congratulations to dr patricia von Dupal, grandma acwa this is a great feat yes it is right so i'm gonna take a question from tony um go ahead go right ahead tony hold on let me unmute you <laughs> one second yep yeah. unmute you unmute yourself uh hello auntie uh, tony how are you oh hi tony <laughs> uh, really nice to 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 um to speak to you today um congratulations on your book very very fantastic i haven't had the opportunity to purchase one and um, but i'm definitely going to to get some um to my colleagues in 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 in, in the army obviously i'm in the british army and um i'm hoping that my colleagues will embrace this book and to know that my auntie has gone through all these experiences um that, that obviously has shaped her in the way she has been I'm, I'm so, so, so lucky to have you in the family. I'm happy that I saw you not long ago at Auntie Martha's wedding. Um, I'm really, really hoping that, um, obviously, the, this book becomes a bestseller. Um, thank thank you. you once again. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, wow. Thank you, Tony. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, if I may say, you remember Uncle Hector from Nigeria who said he was living? And I said, that was my brother-in-law married to my sister. This is his nephew. So that's my in-law. That's my brother-in-law. And this is uh, nep nephew-in-law. Yes. And he lives in England. And uh, we only just met 
when his other auntie got married in uh, England. Because I just sent a private uh, message that before before he left because he sent it to me and he had some family matters to attend. Oh, but yes. I'll try and download the chat yeah, so that you can see for yourself. Okay, so the last, before we do the thank yous and goodbyes, we've got one last uh, message from Dr. Harriet Campbell. Oh. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. And hello, Dr. Patricia, Patricia Iridia, my sister in Glasgow. I remember when you first came to Glasgow, you dialed the number for the African and Caribbean women, and that was a long time ago. And here we are. We're still in the organization, the African Caribbean Women, and uh, we've done so many things together. And congratulations for this book. I've got mine already, and uh, fair enough, it will be a good read for me. I've started reading it, but I must say, Congratulations again for your achievements, and uh, God bless. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. So, Auntie Harriet was the first person I knew in Glasgow when I came from the island. I, I said, how do I make friends? So I went online to look for African Caribbean, African women group, and her name just popped out, and I gave her a call, and she said, Oh, just come to so and so place, and the rest is history. She but just think about how many people you're going to inspire today by <laughs> having the courage to tell your story. You've got people in tears online yeah, because yeah. Of the love and the ad admiration that they have for you, Doctor. So I hope that today is a very proud day, and I can't wait tomorrow to see where we're at in the charts it takes one or two days for amazon to catch up so i will definitely be looking out but i'm sure by everybody's support we will get you to number one so over to you it's time to say thank you and good night go for it wow where do i start you know i have to tell you please that there were four pages there are three pages now for some reason i can only see one page I've been the um if you, the, arrow, if you click arrow, host, I didn't you. want to start tampering with the computer not to lose the screen. So I'll be very careful to keep my papers away. So if I don't mention this is why I will avoid mentioning what happened? This is how you this is how you see other people. This is how you move the screen. I know, but I don't want to. Why not? How are you going to see people? Okay, she's trying to show me how to see other people where she move the screen. I didn't want to tamper with it or let my paper touch the screen because it's happened to me before. I didn't want to ruin it. So I want, I will avoid mentioning names so that I don't, um, I hope nobody will be offended, please, if I don't mention your name because there are people I should mention, uh, old, especially old people. <laughs> so I say, I thank the Almighty God, I start by thanking the Almighty God for enabling me to accomplish this milestone. It's been a long time, but he, 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 he had my back, so I didn't give up. There were times, there were many times I could have given up and say, oh, I'm fed up with this book, you know, but I thank God. Then I thank every one of you who has taken time out of their busy schedules to support me today. I see my neighbors, my church members, my organization members, everybody. You know, I can, I, I have four screens, so I don't want to start calling names, please. And then I thank all my family from my site. My sister represented them from America. Uh, my mom, obviously, she, she, I'm sure she's gone to bed now. She tuned in from uh, Lagos. She's 92 and doing very well. We thank God. And then um, 
my son represented the other side of my family, the radio family, to thank all the radio family. I can't see the screen. I don't know who is there, who is not there. If their uncle Sato is there or Kosi Wa is there, I don't know. You are not on my screen just now. I thank you all very much. Uh, Asana gave a message you read out. That's my mate uh, from America. She is Mrs. Iredia too. Uh, she happens to be a widow as well. So I speak for all of us. And then um, I thank all my in-laws. I was hearing my sister-in-law's voice from Canada. She lives in Nigeria. She's visiting her daughter in Canada. I was hearing her voice. My brother said he will marry her because he said she's intelligent. My brother said, even though my brother is not around, blah, blah, blah. I, I heard her voice when we when you were all talking and waving. So if she's still there, thank you, Mommy Ola. That's what we call her. She's Mommy Ola. You know, thank you, Ma. So thank you to all my husband's family, all my own family, and all my in-laws. Thank you all. Then I thank all my friends, especially those. Why is it double? Why? Why is it double? To, why is it echoing? Go, 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 go far, please. You are disturbing. So I thank all my friends, especially those involved with this book. Sister Mokami, who wrote the foreword to the book. Uh, Sister Mary, who also supported me and uh, paved the way by publishing her book. A big shout out to uh, my publisher, Peaches Publication. You can all see for yourself the kind of publisher I have. You can all see for yourself. Give her, uh, <laughs> give her, please clap for her. Clap for her because she's an enigma. She's an enigma, a powerhouse. You know, thank you very much. Even for making this day so memorable for me. I don't think I would have had a better launching if I did it in a hall, face to face. People told me, why don't you do it in a hall? I said, no, I want to have a party with all my family, wherever they are in the world. That's what matters more to me. And uh, uh, it was a party. And, you, and the MC was great. Thank you. And a special shout out to my writing group. I don't know where they are. And my tutor, Dr. Jim Ferguson, for, for guiding me and giving me the book that gave me the Eureka moment. And I have to say thank you to my parents, my late father, who was a, a headmaster and a parliamentarian, and my mom, who was a, a, a teacher herself. They made the ultimate sacrifice to educate their 11 daughters and one son, 12 children that uh, they had. My mom is 92 and she's here today from Lagos. I already said that. The last but not the least is my late husband, Dr. Isaac Ovensary Iredia. I know you are smiling down on me. You were always proud of me. This is for you. Thank you all. I love you all. I can see all my in-laws. I can see them. Uh, my children said they saw the Obaso hands, the from Benin, the Kola Wallace, the Obaso is. I didn't see them on my screen, but I can see Auntie Gertrude, who is my in-law too. I can only see the people on my screen. I will just stop there. No more names. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> wow. Fantastic. <laughs> An enigma. I'm going to go and look up that word and find out what that means. I've been called a force of nature, which is kind of right, but an enigma, oh. never heard. And I think what's really good is that the impressionable young minds that we have here today on this, um, uh, you, you know, Zoom that are listening and you've just planted a seed that one day that they could have a book and tell their stories and articulate how they feel. And I think your next book, Patricia, is a children's book featuring your 11 grandchildren. Do we like that idea? Oh, that would be nice. That, oh, that please, sounds that fun. Please, my son-in-law, uh, the one who was missing, is begging that he must say something, that you should please give him a minute, just a minute. Here is he. We're trying to finish. 
He was <laughs> head up in his brother's graduation in London. His, his twin brother was graduating as a GP. He did okay. his own last no student. problem. We will just give him a minute in just a, a sec. Minute. Where are you? In just a sec, we will do that, my lady. Thank no you. problem. Just <laughs> talk to Please. me in the chat so I know to unmute your mic to say your name. So um, thank I'm you so sorry. much. For coming Let me out remember today. to thank all those who joined from Africa. You know how thank hard you. it is to buy the credit and the Wi-Fi all the way from Africa, Kenya, uh, South Africa, Nigeria. Uh, thank you all very much. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you. Right, so I've got a message in the chat from, from my little helper, I see. Now, Oshan's name's not coming up. Um, Why can't I find... Oh, Write your name in the chat, she said. Properly. Hold on, let me see. I'll uh, spell I it properly. It's Dr. Osaho Omorigi. Okay, let's try again. Mm. Okay, he's not coming up. I'm just going to... Um. All right, so this is really the last chat Uh. for tonight. What is it? Then we're gonna close. Um, mm. thank you so much for putting up the correct name. Mm. Okay, just hold on a sec. Um David. Oh David. Oh his name is David today. David is his middle name. Middle name. David. David I'm can you repeat yourself, please. David Omorigi. You're the last speaker for this evening and then we are closing. Thanks. Hello. Go ahead. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, ah. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit late. Um, Where are you? No, I'm... So, uh, an arcade. Um, yeah, but I'm in England at the moment. But I just want to say congratulations for a job well done. Um, the book is quite um, very interesting and enlightening. Copy or online, online copy. Okay, I want to say to you, thank you so much for everyone for tuning in. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. No problem. Thank, thank you so much for coming on. It looks like you're having fun. Is that silly world? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Do remember five star rating, please. If you want to help today, not only buy 10 copies, Christmas is coming. Please remember five star rating. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good, good. All righty. So thank we you. are going to now uh, wrap up and uh, come to an end. So thank you so much for attending the launch of The Journey Goes On by Patricia Aradia. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you all here. Um, as I said, I've put the details in the chat of uh, the book. We have some final um, uh, sort of well wishes here. I get the sense that some of you haven't spoken in a long while so I'm happy to leave the zoom open for a further 10 minutes um, after the recording has switched off so that you can all connect and just have a little laugh and then it's going to be bye bye <laughs> um, my name's been Winston Duncan I am the founder of Peaches Publications and it's been my pleasure to walk this journey with you it has been a very interesting intriguing journey and I'm so happy that you have been able to put this out. And I look forward to the children's books with your lovely 11 um, grandchildren. And that can be a family project for 2024 for all of the doctors to come together because I just think it's remarkable. And I think stories like these need to be told and they need to be inspired and you need to share the formula of how you still have 72 people online after 100. That is traction that means that you have influence and that means that you have power if there is an author inside of you and you would like to tell your story write your book remember I am here I can support you on that journey I have a workbook that I'm using to help you get to the navigations of what you used to do Patricia did this exact same workbook and now we are going to move into marketing my dear and she's going to use this one 200 pages strong so I expect the five doctors in the family to sit down and help go 
through it because I think your story is changing the landscape of what it means to 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 be a migrant woman and tell stories it's very cathartic and healing so thank you very much for coming I will put the the, the uh, links to your book in the chat for the last time so we can make sure that we can get up and going with that and I will release the mics as well if you want to find out more about what I do uh, do go and visit uh, www.peachespublications.co.uk best-selling author Patricia Aradia we salute you it is not bye it is not farewell it is until we meet again the journey goes on good night and god bless Good night, Winsome. Great to see you again. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, Let me yeah. just stop the live stream so people can talk yeah. now. Yeah, you can unmute everybody. I have. Uh huh. No, some people are still muted. Did you mute yourselves? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, maybe there's noise where you are. No, I can look at the three pages. 